quick, I just wanted to show you guys. This is the property I'm working at. It's right on a canal here in Sarasota, Florida. All right, so today we're gonna tile this hallway here up to each door. I already used my multi-tool cutter and cut at each doorway. Now I gotta take up all this, laminate off. So this is the tile we have going into the hall here. It's a nice marble look tile, porcelain. This is what I'm going to be laying as my subfloor. Stuff's so light. Look how many sheets. And I can just pick it up like that. I'm going to go out here. I'm going to be bonding it with thin set and then nailing it down. So we do have a bathroom. The master bathroom's back there. I'll show you guys in a little bit. But the plumber's in there, so I don't really want to. Alright, so this is the master bathroom here. This step here is going to get tiled, so I'm going to have to remove all this laminate. And this is getting tiled. So I'm going to cut this vinyl here at half of the door. Same with there, you can already see my mark. Half the door, that vinyl staying in there. And I'm going to be taking up all this vinyl here because it's going to be tiled. But anyways, here is the master bathroom. Look how big this master shower is. From wall to wall, two shower heads, rainfall shower heads. They're gonna be putting in a tub right at the edge of that window there. And the edge of the shower is right here, kind of where that wood is. So all that will be a big old shower. So all this is getting tiled. The toilet room back there. So today I'm gonna to be putting our hardy board all throughout the bathroom here. We gluing it down with thin set, nailing it down. took up all this floor in here I didn't really record it you know nothing too special I had to just cut the doors with my multi-tool so now I just got to take off this last step here before I continue on with the prepping and laying on the hardy board on the floor right, so I already got the step cleaned out that one was a little tough you they glued it down as you can see and uh, I already got the bathroom nice and cleaned up but the area that I'm gonna be working on first is this hallway because it's the main source of traffic here so what i'm gonna do is i already got one piece laid out on the floor i'm gonna go ahead and start from there since that's a full sheet in the hall i got lucky there uh, what i'll do is make some thin set up and glue pick up a sheet as i go and glue that one down nail it pick up the other sheet glue it down and then nail it perfect perfect so that can just get filled in with inset. And we'll do the same thing. <coughs> Keep in mind, you do. I got it all cut in. Got each of my doors. Right here on the steps. And got my piece cut in there. So, next step is picking up one at a time gluing it down with thin set, and then nailing them into the wood. I'm gonna show you guys here in a second how I this do that. Thin set, we're gonna be using the ProFlex Pro Stick 50 premium bed motor. Using this thin set to, be glue, to glue down our boards onto the wood. 
and also for our, for our tile installation, we'll be using that thin set. So, just wanted to show you guys which thin set we're using. So you do want to make it a little more wet than your normal tile installation, just because we're going over wood and you want it to bond real well. Nice and perfect. So I'm going to be using a quarter inch trowel to glue down the uh, hardy board on the floor. For the floor, I'm using a, you know, just your regular roofing now. An inch and a quarter is what I'm using for the floor. So that's how I do that, piece by piece, and then I'm able to just work my way back. And since we're nailing them down, you know, you can walk right over the stuff. It's not gonna be For my set. What you want to do is keep your your notch notch lines consistent, going which way, whether they're this way or that way, doesn't matter. Just keep them all going in one direction, and that allows for pro proper cure on the thing set and for air to able to escape. Remember, I said this will get a little tricky. Okay, that's right there. Another one right there, another one right here, and one in the corner. All right, so got it all glued down and nailed. Now my next step, I'm almost done, not just yet. My next step, on every seam, you wanna put your fiber tape. Alright, so just like that, you mud it in. Every seam, thin set, mud it in. So, day number two, we're back. I am gonna be installing tile in the hallway today. We have a carpenter here today, cutting out some wood studs back there. I, I don't, I'm not too sure what he's planning on doing, but until he gets out of the way, is when I'll start doing the tile here in the hallway. But for now, we have the master bathroom to work on. So I got my partner behind me putting down the hardy board in the master floor. All right, so the master floor is going great. So at the edge here, that's where our curb starts. Remember I was saying this big master shower here? So we stopped our board right at the edge of where the curb's gonna be. A nice three and a half inch curb right from the board there. And He's almost got it off. He's got this little toilet room to do still. Then we gotta pick him up and glue him down. All right, so the boards have been glued down with thin set. Seems like he's finished nailing them all down now. So next step is just putting in that mesh fiber tape, mudding those in, and then tomorrow or the following day, we'll be able to start snapping some lines in here and getting the install going. All right, so he's working on putting up the fiber tape on each seam. And before we leave today, I'm gonna mud those in. That way, 
this floor will be ready for install tomorrow. Trying to get this tile layout figured out. So what we're doing here is this staircase tile is the same tile we'll be using in that hallway. So we're gonna follow the same pattern running up these steps into the hall. What we're using is the four pack 116 spacer leveling clips. All right, so with that being said, I'm gonna start working on this layout, getting the chalk line on the floor and keep going. I'm using. All right, so I got my straight edge set. I measured from wall to straight edge on both sides just to see if I'm straight and everything is straight. So going right off that straight edge into these doors. All right, so I got the hallway all cut out. I just picked up these pieces because I'm going to start gluing them down. I dry set it every cut in here since it's a hall. Didn't really want to trap my guy from working in the master bathroom. But now I'm going to start gluing this half. And then before we leave, I'm going to close it in. And then tomorrow we'll be able to walk on and continue working into the master bathroom. So hallway is set. Got it all laid out. And the master bathroom is ready to go. Got the seams all thin set it in. Seams are all thin set. Got it all skimmed out. I'm ready to go for tomorrow. So yeah, check it out. All right, so I removed all the clips. And there it is. Real nice tile. And as far as the master, I got it all prepped. I got my line snapped. Pretty much center of the hall was the best way to go on this one. And a full tile at the curb. So the master bathroom tile is a little different. It's a white matte, 24 by 24 inch tile porcelain. It's gonna look good. But that's it guys. Thanks for watching.